All right, this is just gonna be a very brief unboxing and preview of the new Apple Magic Mouse, Magic Trackpad, and of course the new Magic Keyboard. As you may know, Apple released these products just a couple days ago as an update to their Magic line for the Magic Mouse and the Magic Trackpad. They actually call this the Magic Mouse 2 and the Magic Trackpad 2. However, the Magic Keyboard, this is the first time it's gained a magical name. This is just the original Magic Keyboard. I don't think anybody would have minded if they called it the Magic Keyboard 2, but they wanted uh, to go that route. The first thing I notice here is these packages are relatively small. This is in relation to the latest generation 15-inch MacBook Pro, and you'll notice they are pretty small. I mean, in general, pretty thin. Pretty straightforward. Let me go ahead and uh, open these up here and see what they look like. I'll grab opener. These are packaged with the same. I don't know if you can see this here? The same material that the iPhones are packaged with, which is different than the previous Magic Mouse, which came in the plastic case. They've got the black Apple logo on the side which follows Apple's black on white idea that they've been working with. And it even opens up just like an iPhone where you have to shake it out. So this is definitely new packaging. It's got a nice inner hold there. And here she is. Let me see if I can demo this next to an existing Magic Mouse, the first generation here. You'll notice this is the new one. They say they've improved these bumpers. They don't look, they don't look a whole lot different to me. The, one of the big changes is that this is um, fully integrated battery. You notice there's no cover here versus the old one. We had a cover. They said this was a little bit longer, but I'll be honest, I'm not seeing it. Let me flip them over and try it like this. I was hoping for a little bit more of an upgrade on this. I guess maybe I can see it here. If it is longer, it is not very noticeable. And that's all there is to it. What else do we have in the box over here? Nice little cardboard thing. Just like an iPhone, we get our little pamphlets here. No, uh, no Apple stickers, you're not spending that much money. And of course, a lightning cable. Now, inductive charging would have been really nice on these. I was kind of expecting that, to be honest, but, you know, for a little device like this, just plugs right in there. I mean, I can pick the whole mouse up like that. Battery is said to be very extensive. Of course, that does look a little strange just sitting there in your desk like this. It's like your mouse is hyped up and ready to go. Probably you'll charge it sideways when you have to charge it overnight. Um, the specs on these are really good. Supposedly you can get like nine hours of charge off of like two minutes of, of charging. That's pretty good. The thing I'm looking, for, I'm looking out for with these is better Bluetooth. I don't recall the specs on these, whether or not it had better Bluetooth, but um, I do have a lot of issues if we have congested Wi-Fi and such or a lot of Bluetooth devices with these. They will lag at times. So that's the new Magic Mouse. Let's uh, see if we can pair it up here. And see how it works. I'm gonna go to Bluetooth on my computer running El Capitan. I'm gonna just turn on the mouse here. Gone is the indicator light, it would seem, on here, which is actually surprising. Either it's gone or I'm not finding it. Let's see if I see a new mouse pop up here on the screen. Magic Mouse 2. So it's there, it's just the indicator light is gone. I actually really don't like that. It was nice to have the light flashing. So if you knew it was pairing on, so you knew it had battery, etc. and so forth. I could be wrong, um, but if it is there, it's not intuitive and it's not right in front of your face there. So I, ch I chose it up here and it's working. 
That's all there is to it. Let's go to mouse and we should see the mouse battery level is 93%. It works exactly as you would expect, just like a magic mouse. That's great. Wonderful. Let's open the magic trackpad. This one saw the most changes. This one, let's see, opens differently than, uh, than the magic mouse. Give me, I have to cut through the plastic here. So this one, the plastic, when you peel it off, this one opens a lot like the old Apple TV did. <clears throat> I say old, the technically current generation at the time of this video. The one prior to the one that's about to come out that they announced at the September 2015 event. So this one does slide out just like so, which as you can imagine is quite tricky to do with one hand. And got a little pull tab here. Out she comes. Now this, this I like. This has a very Apple feel. Got the plastic on it just like the iPhones do. I'm just gonna, and your computers actually have that as well. So I'll just pull the plastic off here. And there it is. Now, this, as you might notice, is very thin. It doesn't actually have any click to it. It doesn't move when it's off. Although, I say that. It moves, it just does not, you do not feel it click. It does move quite a bit, look at that gib. Is that all the way around? That is all the way around, interesting. I wonder if they did that just for the users effect. Not much on the back here, we've got the, wow, the 6S camera is amazing. Got your product information on the back. We've got this little, I'm not sure if that's a light or what it would be. That's your lightning cable here, port here rather. And a little power button. Of course, now that I say the iPhone camera is amazing, it won't focus. There it is. Let me go ahead and turn it on. Oh, now that it's on, I feel it clicking. That is super weird. For not feeling it before, it feels like it clicks now. That Taptic engine in here, I wish I could, you'd have to feel it to demo it. Let's see if you can hear it clicking. Yep, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's really cool. It just clicks how you would expect. Back to our computer. Bluetooth, open Bluetooth preferences. We should see down at the bottom a magic trackpad to pair that guy. Let's see, while we're doing that, what else is in the box? Same thing as the magic mouse, got your paperwork and your lightning cable for charging. So you're getting what does Apple charge for these? Twenty, thirty dollars, ten dollars, something like that. They keep changing it, lowering it. I think I'm getting a pretty good deal. I think. So let me go to trackpad, and here we have our trackpad settings. Silent clicking. So if you turn this on, wow. You still feel it click. You just don't hear it click. That is super weird. So there must be a tiny speaker or something here making a little click sound. That is very interesting. And it has the whole clicking through for gestures, which is very, if you haven't felt that yet on one of the new MacBooks, now you can feel it on these. It is very cool. You just click, press, Feel one, press harder, feel a deeper click. It's the best way to describe it is like you're clicking into something. I agree with the reviews I've read. This is the biggest update to Apple's line, and it's a good one. 
I'm a big fan of this trackpad. It is wider as well. Putting that next to the computer trackpad gives you significantly more space to work with here. Very cool. What about the Magic Keyboard? Let's take a look at this. This is just like the just like the other the Magic Trackpad, a slide out design. So they kept the slide out for two, and then the Apple Box design for one, which I think is interesting. So they're into all new products. The magic keyboard. So what makes this keyboard so magical? Just like the trackpad, it has the pull-off uh, design here. And just like the trackpad, it looks it has it looks identical actually to the trackpad. And my the first thing you notice about the magic keyboard is that it is small and light. If you've seen the Apple Wireless keyboard before, it, it was not magical, not in this sense. This is very lightweight but still has an all-around clicky feel. The keys feel a lot different. The best way to describe it, the keys feel a lot like the new MacBook. Not nearly as shallow, but they have that they have that feel of uh, Less depth would be the word I would use. This keyboard has the Apple, these keys built into the F keys. It's the first time that they, the Fs are more prominent and the keys are a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, by the way, the back, the same, got your little lightning port here and your on switch over here. Nice click on, and again, we go to Bluetooth, Let's see if I can do this before the computer dies, open Bluetooth preferences, scroll down, you should see a new device pop up that's available. It is certainly searching. And the computer is certainly dying. That's great. I would expect this to work as the other devices. Don't really need to show the pairing process there. If it doesn't, I'll update the video with it later. But yeah, in summary, a pretty good uh, set of Magic devices. These have been in need of an update for a while now. Apple did a really good job. They feel like Apple products, which is important. They have that refined but functional feel. I really like this Magic Trackpad. I think I'm going to be using it a lot. Thanks for watching.